In California tonight, the governor, Gavin Newsom, says some schools as well as some businesses may be able to open up uh, within weeks as coronavirus cases in the state stabilize. President Trump has been urging governors to seriously consider reopening schools amid concerns about the long-term impact on education. Joining us now is Sal Khan, uh, the founder and CEO of the Khan Academy. That's a free online education resource, very popular indeed. Uh, Sal, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, the president says young people do extraordinarily well in this crisis uh, as he pushes governors across the country to reopen schools. What do you anticipate education will look like when the students can finally return to the classroom? Yeah, I think the big issue as we go, if we assume that most students are going to go back to school during back to school season, August, September, uh, you always have a summer slide. Every year, not only do kids not go to school in the summer, but they forget over the summer. This year you have, I guess you could say, a protracted summer. It's going to be five, six months. And what the data is telling us from some of our assessment partners is that's not only going to lead to six months of not learning, but uh, it could also be six months of forgetting. So if kids aren't able to keep learning over this time period using Khan Academy or other resources, uh, you could have a lot of kids showing up this back to school with very big gaps in their knowledge. Some kids might have been able to engage, other kids might not have. So schools are going to have to figure out how do you support this very large range of preparedness, which has always been an issue, but it's going to be that much worse this year. So what do you recommend? So the ideal is for students to continue learning, and that's what we're trying to do as a, a not-for-profit. Uh, you know, everything we do is non-commercial. We're funded by philanthropy. Uh, so we're putting resources out there to keep folks learning in math and English language arts in the sciences. We've uh, published uh, schedules. We're publishing learning plans. And not just to keep learning over the next six weeks or two months, the regular school year, but try to leverage the summer to keep that learning going. We're also trying to work with other philanthropists, uh, foundations, corporations to make sure students have access, device access, internet access. That's important, not just for things like Khan Academy. That's crucial, I think, for even mental health right now to stay connected in a time of social distancing. And then uh, that'll mitigate a lot of the, the, the risk or the cost. But then as we go into back to school next year, I think districts and teachers are going to have to spend extra time for students to catch up. And that's where uh, online tools can be useful because if you're a teacher by yourself, it's very hard to cater to the needs of 30 different students who all have different gaps and are learning at different paces. And that's what we try to build our tools to do, uh, to allow uh, kids to, to fill in those gaps and for the teachers to be informed on, on where they might need extra support. You wrote in the Wall Street Journal, let me read to you, uh, online access has gone from nice to have to must have in a time of social distancing. How concerned are you about the disruption in education for students who don't have these kinds of resources right now? I'm very concerned. Uh, you know, we I've talked, we're very close with many school districts, places like Clark County, which is Las Vegas. It's the fifth largest school district in America. They've done heroic efforts getting devices to students. But there's a large chunk of their population that when schools closed fairly quickly, it's hard to even keep track of where those students are. And so you can imagine those students are disconnected from the, the world and on some level. So, you know, there have been philanthropists like Ray and Barbara Dalio who've donated 60,000 laptops to high need kids in Connecticut. Uh, we're trying to work with anyone to get more of that out there because uh, there's always been a digital divide and this crisis is making it clear that it's, it's, it's that much worse. The silver lining, I hope, is that all of the various actors, government, corporations, uh, philanthropists are realizing that as we get out of this crisis, this isn't a nice to have, as, as, as I wrote. It, it has to be uh, something that everyone has access to. And you got to have access to Internet. Uh, Internet access is a problem in a lot, still a large part, part of the country. How will the coronavirus sell uh, and the sudden switch to online learning permanently change the education landscape moving forward? Well, I, I think uh, w what's forcing is thinking about how learning does not necessarily have to be bound by time and space. Uh, for younger kids, especially K-12, to the in-person physical uh, environment is crucial. I don't ever want to pretend that online is somehow a substitute for that. But in times of closures, emergencies, evacuations, whatever you might be, uh, whatever it might be, that's where folks can lean more on the online. And the ideal is, is that it's not an either or, that when school's back in session, and I think we're already seeing a lot of indicators from this, a lot of districts reaching out to us, uh, that they want to leverage online more because, as we talked about, kids have larger gaps. Teachers need a, some way to support these gaps that are all over the place as we go into next school year, and we might have more closures. We don't know what's going to happen when, when flu season picks up, when we get back into the fall. And so if in five, six, seven months we have another round of closures, it's not going to be acceptable to have uh, just kind of ad hoc plans. And if the 
schools are already using some of these tools, then it's going to be easier for them to lean more heavily on them in times of closures. Well, let's hope these schools reopen quickly and the kids can go back to school and learn, which is so, so important. Selcon, thanks to what you're, for what you're doing. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.